how to write a perfect A-level geography answer. Today we're going to look at globalization, explain one reason why global shift of industry has had a negative impact on people in the developed world. Make sure you have a piece of paper out and you've written down this question because you're going to use some highlighters and highlight the key elements of this question as I've done on this slide here. Explain is a trigger word that we need to focus on with the specificity of looking at global shift and its negative impact specifically on the developed world. So this is really important to remember. And before you move on, you want to just write down a few notes on top of your piece of paper, or if you're typing, just type out some notes on what kind of things you're going to focus on. And if you're not familiar with the keywords, go look them up in your textbook or your notes and then come back. Before you start doing anything else, make sure that you've made some notes. And the way to do that is by breaking down the question and here's a template that you can use to help you. So first of all, make sure you've written down the question, as I previously said, but now you can note down this table. Maybe you want to type it out, maybe you want to make them by hand, these notes, but make sure that you've written this or drawn this outline of the table first. On the left hand side, make sure you identify some examples of global shift. And on the right hand side, write down some examples of how those specific things may have negatively affected the developed world. Remember, you're focusing on highly industrialized nations, France, Britain, Germany, United States, and so forth, rather than the developing world. Often students misread the question and they start talking about issues in the developing world when the question is not asking that. So take the time, go to your textbook, go get your notes out and write down just a few bullet points on each section because this will help you to structure your answer so that you can nail it the first time rather than having to come back again and again to improve your answer. Remember, you must explain your answer in logical steps. Make sure that you use your knowledge and understanding and address the question very clearly through a well-developed answer. You can only do that by making some notes. If you are under time conditions, end of unit assessment, or you're doing a mock exam, or even doing your actual exam, it's very important that you take the time to highlight the keywords in the question and make a few notes, it will take you 10-15 seconds before you start writing the answer because it will help you to just see things more clearly. Let's have a look at this sample answer. In some areas, global shift in industry causes deindustrialization due to competition abroad. Countries such as China provide cheap labor and materials, they're attracting TNCs. Due to the global shift in industry, developed countries lose jobs and as a result there is a reduction in income. The reduced income causes the tax revenue to decrease, meaning that the government has less money to invest into healthcare, education and infrastructure. The candidate starts with a focus on deindustrialization, which is absolutely the correct thing to do, then provides an example of how it affects developing economies. But most importantly, it develops into focusing on the developed countries and some examples of how it's affecting them. It doesn't go into much depth giving specific examples of industries that are losing those forms of employment, which would definitely help improve this answer further. But it does make a very good point about taxation revenue decreasing and therefore investment in education, healthcare and infrastructure potentially could be lost too. Even better would be to focus on a specific example here, perhaps a local example just to throw in to make sure that you get the full marks. Next sample answer. Global shift of industry increases unemployment. This in effect reduces local incomes, therefore governments cannot accumulate high tax revenues. Consequently, there is reduced foreign investment and business investment on key infrastructure uses such as office blocks and factories. The first sentence starts off well, however, it would be better if they specified where this form of unemployment was occurring. For example, is it in the secondary sector, the primary sector? the tertiary sector. It goes on to say this in effect reduced local incomes, which is absolutely correct thing to say, but would be even better if they gave some specific examples of where this might be happening. The following point of high tax revenues being reduced is absolutely correct again. Again, the key thing here is to refer to a specific example. And the example about reduced foreign investment and business investment is on the right lines, but the idea of office blocks and factories is very vague, so it doesn't command authority. So whilst this answer has good elements within it, it certainly needs more clarification 
to attain a higher mark. Next sample answer. Global shift is when an industry moves from one region to another. This could be the manufacturing industry moving from Europe to China. This causes unemployment as businesses move away. Therefore, there is lower local incomes and so the government will receive less tax revenue which related to less investment on services and infrastructure. A good short introduction in the first sentence which is elaborated on in a bit more detail with reference to manufacturing industries moving from Europe to China which is good. Absolutely correct in saying unemployment is created. Even better would be to give a specific example of an industry within a country within Europe that has been affected by it. Absolutely right about saying local incomes are going to be reduced and this could have an impact on national tax revenues and again validate this with a specific example just so that you can communicate your authority over the answer. Next sample answer. As the primary sector of the economy has shifted to newly emerging economies such as India or China it has resulted in de industrialization of the developed world. For example but Tolbert lost its function as a manufacturing industry post-industrial, so there are fewer employment opportunities. Outmigration of young people causing a spiral of decline, eventually causing socioeconomic issues such as dereliction and crime. This answer commands authority in many ways because the candidate has referred to specific keywords throughout their answer. Primary sector, newly emerging economies, post-industrial, manufacturing industries, dereliction, spir spiral of decline, socioeconomic issues. So throughout the answer, the candidate has communicated the key issues where you have the industrialization occurring, gives a specific example of where this has happened, and then gives some examples of multiple negative impacts on those specific places. This would be a really good structure, really good answer if you were writing this in the exam. Remember, the key here is to be able to write in your own way. So I would take the time to think about what examples you want to refer to and think about the key words that you would use in answering this question to its full effect. And this is a really good example of doing that. Now, if you've done your previous note taking as suggested before looking at the sample answers, then you would have come up with these bullet points for sure. So things that you could discuss in this answer could be unemployment, reduction in income, reduction in tax revenues, reduction in investment in infrastructure and local services, depopulation, unskilled workers being left behind, and you could also talk about increased health and mental health issues for those left behind as well. You can talk about a lot of different issues as long as you can validate them and communicate them clearly in your answer, you will get the marks for them. If you've made it this far in the video, that's fantastic. You just need to listen on to these really important key points that I'm going to mention now. And I talk about these every single video and it's so important that you listen to this and you apply this because this is the only way that you're going to improve your writing. You've got to practice doing these questions. Not only this one that we've done today, but also the previous videos. If you are doing one every single week as you're going along, you definitely will improve your written work and you will definitely improve your knowledge and understanding of the subject in a lot more depth. And as a consequence of it, you'll be able to talk about it with far more authority. You've got to practice writing. You've got to read newspaper articles, read a newspaper article, whatever it might be, will give you an idea of how to structure an argument. And if you're reading it on a regular basis, naturally, you will start to apply them in your written work as well. Of course, use keywords throughout your answer. Make sure that you refer to words such as because, despite, some, but as you're formulating your answer. Make sure that you're writing in third person. And the key, key element in all of this is that you're writing your answer with a sense of authority so that when you present your ideas, they're clear and they're well understood by someone who doesn't know anything about the subject itself. If you've not done this question already, write the question down, highlight the keywords, answer the question. Use your notes, use your textbook, use this video to help you to construct your answer Make sure you're referring to the key words consistently throughout and you're giving specific examples in your answer. I hope you found this video helpful. Keep watching. There's plenty more for you to do. Make sure that you've gone back and looked at the previous videos, particularly the 12 markers and the 20 markers. If you can nail those, you're going to do really, really well on the exam.